There was no ice there. This is concerning the new shocking detail science has found concerning Antarctica ice. The climate of Antarctica 90 million years ago showed that they had no ice there. Well, this is nothing new to us. This is what the ancient Greeks also was telling, were telling us. The equator was not where it is now. The equator was between uh, Europe and Africa. The, uh, the equator was between uh, uh, Europe and Africa. Also, the sun was setting to the east. It was rising from uh, beyond Libya, and it was setting around Ethiopia. As we know, Ethiopia is uh, around the Red Sea area. It's not. It's the it's the east of Africa, not the west. So, what was going on? There was a lot of Earth changes, and it looks like they had the uh, these accounts were dating back to millions of years ago when the Earth uh, was flipped, and is not as it is today. And they also showed that uh, Antarctica was below the equator, just, be, just below the equator. And where the equator was, there was no land masses. And uh, that Antarctica was just below the equator. So it, somehow it was, the um, North Pole was basically where over Germany is now. So something happened to the world. And uh, this is what they've now come up with. In the past, very little was known about the environmental conditions of Antarctica, the Antarctic Circle, during the mid-Cretaceous period, but a new study reveals not only some new details about the environment around the South Pole at that time, but also led to some shocking findings. Traces of temperate rainforests located south of the Antarctic Circle 90 million years ago have been discovered by a team of scientists from the UK and Germany. And this is what their study released saying in the uh, journal Nature magazine. They said, the researchers scanned a part of the core from the region to discover pollen, preserved roots, and remnants of flowers, such as which pointed to the existence of a rainforest 900 kilometers south of the South Pole. The average temperature of the Antarctic Circle during the mid-Cretaceous period was thereby estimated to be around 12 degrees Celsius, which is about like 50, 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So it challenges the possibility of an ice age existing at the South Pole at that time. The work also throws into doubt the current understanding of the climate models of that period as the levels of CO2 in the atmosphere were much higher 115 million years ago than initially thought. The Cretaceous period lasting from 145 million to approximately 66 million years ago, that was when the dinosaur extinction took place with the asteroid strike, uh, it was considered to be one of the warmest intervals in the last couple of hundred millions of years. Little is known about, was known about the environment in Antarctica during that period, but these new findings suggest that despite the four-month polar night, temperatures in the region at that time closely resembles the climate that exists in northern Europe countries today. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition, 
and the community around our church. Thank you.